The 2011 construction season is a busy one for WashDOT. With more than 100 active projects totaling a billion dollars, WashDOT and local contractors are building bridges, adding lanes, and designing interchanges that will help drivers and freight haulers get around Puget Sound. Let's take a look at some of the major work that's happening this year. We begin in Pierce County with the Nally Valley Viaduct Project, where we are rebuilding the I-5 SR-16 interchange to improve safety and ease congestion. The project includes new ramps between I-5 and Sprague Avenue. Moving north on I-5 to the Tacoma area, crews will widen and retrofit the I-5 bridges of Portland Avenue and Bay Street to meet current earthquake standards. It's part of a series of projects to add HOV lanes in Pierce County. Continuing north to Federal Way, we're making improvements to the area where I-5, Highway 18, and Highway 161 come together. Two new flyover ramps will eliminate the weave that can lead to congestion and collisions. Expect some long-term ramp closures this summer as we build those new flyover ramps. Moving over to Highway 99, crews continue to work on the southern mile of the Alaskan Way Viaduct between Holgate and King Streets. Wider side-by-side -side lanes will replace the current double-decker road. These lanes will open in 2013. North of downtown Seattle, we'll complete the third and final stage of seismic upgrades to the Aurora Avenue Bridge. These repairs will help get traffic back on the bridge more quickly in the event of an earthquake. Back over to I-5, where the express lanes are a key piece of the morning and evening commute. We currently budget an hour to reverse the lanes from south to north. This summer, we will automate the switch so we can close the gates and light up the signs with the push of a button. After we're done, the switch should only take about 15 minutes. Further north in Linwood, we're building new ramps on southbound I-5 that will separate traffic merging from I-405 and 525 from traffic exiting onto 196th Street. This will help reduce congestion by eliminating lane weaving that can lead to rear end and side swipe collisions. Be sure to stay on top of construction closures this summer. Know before you go and check our website for the most current information.